Okie doke, yep. Uh, no, I thought it would work, but it's not. Well, maybe it will. Are you gonna come over and take a look, puss? Yeah, I want to show you a few things that I picked up at the dollar store, and I was like, gonna do it on the table, and I was like, wait a minute, if I do that, then uh, maybe Leo, sometimes he comes, well, he's already had a good sniff, but uh, what you doing now, puss? Hold on, here, I'll flip your blanket over there. Try that now. He wants to lie down a bit in the sun. But anyways, yeah, I've had a rough couple of days or work that's just been driving me up the, up the effing tree. So I was like, you know what? Um, I'm going to go out. I, I don't need an in, a much of a uh, motivation or whatever. But anyways, I was like, oh, let's go to the dollar store and treat yourself. Oh, my F. But anyways, I'm going to say one thing before I uh, do, though, is um, I've noticed uh, lately a lot of the dollar store things, even with their smaller ones, I've been coming in these great little packages, and I'm like, well, I'm not recycling them. I'm going to reuse them. You can see here, they're, I mean, eventually this will peel off or whatever, but, and even the small ones are like this. And it even has like a little uh, doohickey hole here, so I'm like, okay, thanks. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I picked up. A few things, well, okay, right off the bat. These ones are for something secret. And you'll find out, hopefully, as, as soon as I flip and can, um, and also I'm going to show you a, a bunch of the various um, notebooks that I kind of like and don't like. And I've gone through all kinds of ones and um, yeah, I, get, I mean it's kind of I guess like the way people are with dice and pencils and you know, you, you get uh, very particular with certain things. But uh, I'll go one thing at a time here. Uh, I just picked this guy up because I thought, oh maybe I can use him. Uh, you know, he's a weird scale or whatever, but um, maybe I could say he's like some kind of weird, maybe... Um, magic spell kind of like a, a some kind of really uh, wizard you know maybe or an illusion spell maybe that's what he uh, partially is anyways I was like I just liked him uh, interesting I'm, I'm not not worried about the uh, whatever rubber I don't know what kind of thing it is about uh, I don't care about the rest of the stuff but the other maybe the purple guy would have been uh, half decent to get but uh, yeah, no big deal uh, the green guy looked they had the purple guy there but I was like yeah I just didn't see as much def like I couldn't see as much um, definition because of the contrast. It wasn't so good. I didn't find with the purple and the whatever. Anyways, uh, these things. I don't know what you think, Charles. I thought maybe this would be kind of uh, these bamboo straws. I thought maybe they would be good for miniatures. If you know, cut them down or something, make some kind of like weird Vietnam thing or or anything really. Maybe some kind of. Um, I think there's a lot of Pulp Fiction. Or pulp action type, uh, you know that those type of uh, things, um, golden age of adventure type of uh, um, uh, miniature roll sets out there. I think maybe that would be good for something like that if you're doing like the Lost Continent or something. Uh, anyways, but they were kind of neat. They were only a dollar twenty-five each for crying out loud. Uh, this uh, lined paper, like you can see, that's why I really like it. It's really thick lines, dirt cheap. Buck fifty, um, and um, I often get some more. It's just I just find it really. I just like that really dark one. Look, I can really see it. it's nice. This one I picked up for once, just to give it a shot. I think it was partially because uh, this is the normal ones I get. Zoe knows for a fact I usually pick up one or two every single time I go to the dollar store. I've got tons upstairs. This is my go-to mini journal uh, type stuff. I just find them relatively easy to uh, throw in a backpack or whatever, and they've got tons of lines. And relatively, I've never, relatively, I've had one lately and it's been driving me up the flipping tree um, that's been catching the pages. And it's like, whoa, what's going on, man? This is the first time, though, uh, in a long, a lot of them. So maybe I should, you know, I should stop whining. But that it has driven me up the tree so much lately that I actually decided to give this one a shot. Uh, I gave one uh, to Zoe actually because I, I bought one I was like hmm. Um, this one seems alright. I, I like free movement. I want free movement. I hate a puss. Uh, but the problem is this is 25 cents more and you can see I don't think there's nearly as enough as nearly as many pages. Hey puss. And I like the color. I like the I like the off white, but uh, you can see there's nowhere near as many lines. So what would be the point? Um, yeah, of course this one's heavier, but yeah, it's like 300 or 250 pages or 300 pages, something crazy. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot, but I, you know we'll see. 
maybe uh, maybe that's like for wandering around like if uh, I don't know we'll see these notebooks here these little three exercise books the 32 page ones I know okay, you don't get very much in them but I love the fact that I can do this with them uh, I can really fold the living dickens out of them you see what I'm saying so I just really like that there's no uh, I just it doesn't it's like you know what I mean there's just not enough pages for it to start driving me up the effing tree and I like that um, so I just find it really good for certain things like what is what the guy what is this one came for uh, oh Italian front so it was obviously oh yeah getting getting ready to do Caparato or Lord knows what no that would have been for the probably the first battle of the Asanzo but anyways uh, those are good those are good ones um, so I picked up some more this I really don't know what the heck it is yet um, this is two rainbow scratch boards I'm hoping I can use those a little some of the bits is uh, for some of the stenciling I don't know we'll see um, this is just nice looking paper um, linen cardstock I, I was like oh actually let's open they're two dollars each you get 18 sheets but okay I'll try something maybe make bookmarks or I don't know what but uh, Oops, I just did what I was... No, these ones I can't, eh? No, they're stapled. But I, I should have been careful. So, interesting. So it's strange. Well, I'll play with it and see what happens. Maybe that would be a good for... Um, I mean, they were pretty cheap. Uh, would that be a good um, material to use as a play... Um, like a play aid for like each player to have their own little thing for a game? And that only cost two dollars and I got 18 sheets hmm I like the color and then this one also had um, a bunch of different colors here as you can see are three okay so that's an that's an idea and then we got these stencils here and yet again it, I think what this is more for me just to use like part part of the stencils like some of the design here like um, which one did I kind of like on this one here why did I pick you up? Or something I must have liked about you. I should go around this way. Hmm. I don't know why I picked you up yet. What did I see in you? What did I see? Oh, that's what I saw in you. Holy F, I didn't know there were two sheets. Holy F, I thought this, see, I didn't see that side. Because I was like, I wouldn't have picked that up. This is what I wanted. Oh, yeah. This has got lots of nice stuff in here. We've got all those swirls and fun stuffs. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't know it was two sheets. Okay. Oh sh Okay, so that means, okay, this one I also looked at and didn't like. and But I liked that side. I was like, oh, look at all the fun stuff on there. So, um, okay. That'll be good. And then, what else? These guys, look at this. Well, I saw this guy. I didn't, see, didn't even really care about the rest of them. But when I saw that stencil with the hex and the... And all the other stuff. I was like, okay, might as well give it a shot. I mean, most of these things I won't be able to use, but uh, maybe I'll give them to Zoe. She can uh, play around, or give them to kids or whatever. But uh, well, you never know. You could use like part of something, but oh, maybe this one here, obviously, this would be a good. Now, now, I, now I figured out how you're supposed to put it. I didn't know which way. Now I'm like, okay, now at least you got to put the bottom here. Okay, all right. And then uh, this was, just to see if I want to make some bookmarky type th uh, things to emboss or whatever. I'm going to try these these um, plastic stencils. I've got some balsa wood ones. The problem is they're breaking all the time, like in the, in the certain spots, the pee. Oh my god, I was like, come on, man. I understand why they need it, but you see that little bit there? Let's try that with balsa wood, eh? I, even these guys, I think they're probably going to, I'm going to have to be very careful. Um... And I think that's it. And I, okay, so this is my absolute right now favorite, I think, big notebook. Uh, because I've had absolutely no issues so far with these. Uh, like I said, I love the free movement. And um, it's just really good. And uh, I like having this little pocket just for a couple of uh, extra little things. Usually my bookmark. Uh, because I'm, you know, um, but I've also used these guys. Ah, that's all right. It's not as good as the 32 pager, but you can see why. I think once you start getting into, it just doesn't have that. 
See, it's just, it's, it's not bad, but it, I, I just find I'm still doing a bit more of that. But uh, it's, um, it's not bad. And I also, I guess, like the idea that, you, you know, you got the ring bit where you could put it in a binder. Binders, to me, are, I don't know. This one's a really good one, because uh, yet again, it's a small amount, I find, and I've not had an issue so far with the, um, the flipping around. Um, and it's only 140. Yeah, I'm using like I've got one for each uh, uh, um, guy. Like as I said, I mean now that I'm not using real counters anymore, I have to keep track of uh, what the heck each um, my counter is. So you know, I mean obviously, so if you went to uh, was that Russia, if you went to you know number one, you this is what would be there. So there you go, you get that. And then these guys too. This is a bit more of a overkill type. Um, one but it's not too bad but not as good as I find um, this guy which which is well I mean even with all that extra uh, material 100 at less pages I guess it's because that thick plastic but it's actually I can feel it weighs a lot more um, yeah it's all right um, maybe it is because it's 300 pages but uh, yeah I mean 250 for that one and you got that was 275 so you're always getting that extra little whatever. That's it. I know it wasn't whatever, but um, yeah, I guess to me that was oh well. It is. I shouldn't say it, my version of chocolate bars because I, I also oh my god did I even mention that I, I ran into Bridget on the way back for crying out loud? Probably not. Um, anyways, yeah, I also picked up some chocolate bars which I shouldn't have done. And like the old lady said behind me, she's because we started talking. She's like, enjoy your chocolate. I'm like, oh god. But, um, yeah, I ran into Bridget on the way back, and I was, uh, I was like, screw this, I'm going to take my sweet-ass time. I think she was kind of like, she was like, oh, um, you're going that way? I was like, well, no, 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 I'll go that way. Like, I mean, I'll continue walking, and, um, yeah, it was just really nice to chit-chat away, and um, obviously I got to find out, well, of course, now I don't remember, but uh, she was uh, giving me, uh, you know, how to pronounce Austria uh, in German the old way, and Hungary... And oh god, what was Austria? Utre, ah, oh, darn it. Anyways, they didn't sound any of them like the way I would hear. I hear them like Hungary was. Uh, she goes, oh, you don't even pronounce the H. It's uh, whatever. Um, and, yeah, she kept talking about the dots over certain letters are really important. Um, yeah, and then just mentioning also the difference. She goes, you know the. Um, the way that, you know, back when she left Germany, how little um, English-speaking people were there versus now and, and so on and so forth. And when she got here, I, you know, she was like, my God, having such a hard time. And she's like, especially for the fact she goes, we had to start pronouncing W. <laughs> she goes, God, that was really difficult. <laughs> Oh, that was, that was neat. But anyways, that's it. Uh, I better, I should really get some sleep, eh, puss? And then, um, cause I should go, uh, yeah, I want to get up and watch, um, some U-Boat. Isn't that cool to say that? Cause some, some people are like, who don't know what I'm talking about are thinking, whoa, is that a new Netflix show? Uh, kind of. For me it is. It's U-Boat by Hissy Cat. Hey, puss? Puss? What you doing, you silly puss? You little brat, you're not even gonna look over. Alright, then. Okay, see you later.